Hello, my name is Claire Beckstead and I'm a climate change mitigation specialist at the City of Calgary. Next slide. Two thirds of Calgary's citywide greenhouse gas emissions come from energy use in buildings. The pathway to net zero requires bold and transformational action to address these emissions. On top of that, buildings are where we work, where we play, where we live, where we rest. They are quite literally our shelter from the storm. As the impacts of climate change become more severe, our buildings will need to withstand greater shocks and stresses. Next slide. And this is not just theoretical. I personally will never forget what it was like to have a firefighter come to my door at my Beltline apartment to say that I had 15 minutes to evacuate during the 2013 floods. This summer, I purchased indoor fans and air filters to keep my two young children safe during the dangerous heat dome and the weeks of smoky skies and poor air quality. The era of climate impacts is already here. The psychological effect of these tangible impacts are already being reflected in the waning optimism that people have about the future of life in Calgary. A recent poll found that 63% of Calgarians are concerned that Calgary's future as a vibrant city is at risk if we don't take bold climate action. Net zero is not just a nice to have aspiration, it is an imperative. Next slide. The wording of this mayor's innovation challenge tells me that you already understand this imperative. I am here because I believe in the power of municipal governments to be a powerful accelerator towards this net zero future. So what's my idea? Next slide, please. A low carbon and climate resilient building standard. This is a regulatory requirement that could be implemented by the City of Calgary today. It would immediately improve the performance of buildings in Calgary. It is tangible, it is implementable, it is effective, it is innovative. So what is it? A low carbon and climate resilient building standard is a regulation that requires that buildings be built beyond the standard that's required in the building code. This means we could require better energy performance, lower greenhouse gases, or other climate resilient building features. At first, compliance with this new regulation could be voluntary and encouraged with incentives, but eventually it could be mandatory. The City of Toronto and the City of Vancouver have already implemented a similar concept. For example, the City of Vancouver will require that all buildings built in 2030 will be net zero emissions. So you might be wondering, why is this innovative if we've already seen this implemented in other cities? It is innovative because not only would it immediately result in lower emissions buildings in Calgary, but it is also a powerful innovation accelerator. This means that low, a low carbon and climate resilient building standard would not necessarily prescribe how to meet the standard. As a result, businesses and entrepreneurs could come up with innovative and creative solutions in the building sector. And once they do, they could have confidence that there'd be a market for their innovation in Calgary. Any of the other finalists in this innovation challenge would benefit from a low carbon and climate resilient building standard. In effect, I'm proposing that the City of Calgary implement an ongoing innovation challenge. It doesn't need to end today. Next slide. The other benefits of a low carbon and climate resilient building standard is that it would improve Calgary's reputation as a city that's taking climate action seriously. It would result in greater investment, economic development and diversification, um, and the jobs that go along with that not only from businesses that are looking for solutions in the building sector, but also from sectors that value strong climate action. And it would improve Calgary's buildings. It would make our homes and workplaces more comfortable, more livable, safer, and cheaper to operate. And in that, we all benefit. The City of Calgary has an opportunity to become, to unlock and accelerate innovation in the building sector. We already have the expertise and the policy know-how in-house and in the broader community. There are already businesses who know how to build to net zero in Calgary. A low carbon and climate resilient building standard would reward those already innovating and encourage those who are not quite there yet. This is an idea that Calgary is ready for.
Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.